Hello and salam this is Nabeed with you and you are on the platform of sariyas.com Today I will tell you a story from the famous Kargil war between Pakistan and India fought in 1999 The story had been kept in classified in Indian army archives and the main character of this story is the ghost of Kargil We you have read and heard about the heroics and deeds of many Pakistani ghazis and martyrs in Kargil war There are some who have been kept in the secret and even I did not want to tell you about them maybe I still shouldn't but as this was mentioned by the Indian journal Joshi himself in his book I will get you a bit closer to the ghost and many other unsung heroes of Pakistan armed forces many of whom who lived their blissful lives in heaven as the green birds or martyrs Jana Joshi still today expressed his desire and his wish to catch a glimpse of the ghost of Kargil or at least he could get to know him dear Joshi Mahinder Bajwa other Indians who participated in the Kargil war one way or another and especially the people of Pakistan and our next generations who come in this audio book i will tell you about the ghost of kargil listen to this story very carefully because this story is going to change your life when brigadier mahinder singh of indian army returned the body of captain sher khan he kept a letter in his pocket the letter mentioned captain sher khan's bravery and the recommendations of highest military award for him along with that letter the ghost of kargil was also mentioned he wrote something similar to this i have seen people fighting for a cause i have seen people giving their life for their motherland but the person we all wanted to see we were unable to locate him and see him what was his rank was he from pakistan army or a local mujahid these all questions remained unanswered we salute the ghost and honor his bravery and we wish perhaps one day we will be able to know him the copy of brigadier mahinder's letter is found both in pakistan and indian army archives even after 25 years the desire of indian army to know about the ghost of kargil any clue anything remains only a wish and a desire today i'm going to tell you about the actual events of kargil war and about the ghost of kargil so let's start the story lalak jaan says to the ghost of kargil sir will you take me to the post right yes yes lalak why not why are you so worried we will take you there i'm not worried sir i'm just anxious to get there and i know if i get stuck somewhere you will come for me you will come to take me from there first of all lalak you will never get stuck you are a brave man and if this ever happens don't worry we will definitely come to take you i still remember these words but to be honest i never knew that time that this young lad is going to change the definition of bravery lalak was a brave heart he was a brave soul you rarely see such people in life and yes we did went in for him and we did bring him back at the start of the war our 12 nli and 6 nli were facing some issues the second rajputana regiment of india they were not coming up to fight us so we had to go down and kill them of course the first thing we did was to scale up these mountains these are no ordinary hills 17000 feet 18000 feet imagine you have to scale up around 5500 meters to reach the top you cannot carry heavy weapons and scale up these mountains you need the lightest weight small machine guns light machine guns 
small machine guns g3s this is all you have with few grenades but can you use these to attack the indians 6000 meters down no so that means you have to scale down on the indian side in broad daylight and make some posts which are nearer to the foothills you should be knowing that while you will be doing all these activities you will be visible to everyone from as far as their binoculars range can go they can watch you but you can't they can fire on you with artillery but you can't and to go nearer to the road the highway sirinagar lay highway nh1d you need to move down you need to move your post at least 700 to 800 meters from the road but does that mean indian army just has to win 800 meters 800 meters ridge to capture a post more than 200000 soldiers of indian army with all military equipment and hardware air force gunship helicopters were unable to scale the 700 meters lalak jan post was just barely 700 meters from the road and the indians were unable to capture it this was the ridge too far as named by the indians themselves just 700 meters to capture with your whole military might for 90 days and you were unable to do that second rajputana were dumping ammunition 400 meters below our post they used to come at night throw their stuff and run away this method is used to create a buffer between your main base and enemy's post their main brigade base was 800 meters below we had to attack both of them after a few hours we started attacking their ammo dumps we were 16 people eager to fight and their number was more than 200 gorkhas eager to run we kept fighting with them for like couple of hours the fight was so close that even guns were irrelevant hand to hand battles 56 indians died there and the rest fled to the base below now both these bases were under our control we sat on their base for like 2 days that they will bring fresh units from below but they didn't come enemy was in shock and awe they didn't understand what to do and none of them was ready to come up they didn't have the courage india never assaulted any of the main peaks we held we had captured 127 peaks and these were 127 indian peaks indian didn't directly assault any one of them recently i saw one clip probably from some indian movie that they are coming up to the peak like in broad daylight for hell sake because this is where you will go stop making your people fool with your bollywood drama what you want to tell them that pakistani army was playing cricket or ludo there or laying there unconscious like one of your veer chakra that yadav guy who says that he was saved because he was playing that and that 5 rupees coin saved his life oh come on man in 90 days of war you couldn't even reach one of our last listening post on any of these peaks barely 700 to 800 meters from your base let alone 4 km from the peak why haven't you been on the peak for like 25 years why haven't you shown the tiger hill or tolaling top to anyone what's wrong you should be having a monument there probably a tourist place what's wrong with you why can't you achieve this in 25 years come on you need to tell the kids and their parents whom you have fooled come on tell them ladies and gentlemen there is no shame in accepting a defeat we were beaten by pakistan army few of their men with small arms while we were having a complete military might with us but we were unable to capture a single peak back from them we are sorry from the nation 
be brave and tell the kids why are you silent come on tell your nation anyways let me tell them what happened this episode of tgok the ghost of kargil the audio book by navid ali sheikh in english language ends here if you want to hear more episodes please log on to sarias.com where you can purchase the ghost of kargil badge you can purchase the audio books or the subscription also you can hear to the same episode without the background score looking forward to host you on sarias.com